Hey everyone, it's Nick from LeakU.com. You know my channel is dedicated to exposing the truth. And I'm going to let everyone know, a guy on Instagram named Chrissy DHK, don't do business with him. He has screwed me out of over $500. Um, do not do business with him. I'm going to make a full-fledged video on this guy, including the screenshots um, where we've communicated back and forth where he proceeded to call me white trash because I told him I was going to report him to PayPal. Don't do that friends and family bullshit. Chrissy, you fucked up, dude, because you really don't know who you're fucking with. So get ready, playboy, because the video's coming your way. And you're not going to like it. And I'm going to tell you guys why this is so important to me, because people keep saying, let it go, let it go. Let me tell y'all something. I have a brain tumor. I don't know how many years I've got left on this earth, okay? I'm trying to build what I can and make the money I can to leave to my young children before I go. And this fucking scamming asshole takes $300 for me. Do you know how long it takes for a person to make $300 or to save $300 and you stole it? I want a public apology. I swear to God, I will you will regret it if you don't. I'm telling you, because I am beyond pissed. You just don't understand how you have affected my life and my finances, you asshole. That's for Chrissy DHK and Calvin King and any fucking body else. Fuck any of his fans. Fuck y'all. Hey, Instagram. Hi, Chrissy. I know you're feeling a little bit sad about things lately, but it's just karma. What I want is a public apology and you to promise to never scam another person or I will not stop. Yes, I have reserved every domain name of ChrissyDHK.com, .net, .org, .everything. And I'm not even done. I haven't even started yet. I'm a systems engineer. Don't think you realized that when you did what you did and stole $300 for me. I put all the proof on my Instagram page. And you keep blocking me, but I'm still going to get to you. So public apology and a promise to never scam another person. And that's the only way I'm going to stop.